So in this video I'm going to show you um, about what happens when Windows uh, 10 license expires. It's still uh, Windows like uh, you can do everything it's not like it will stop working or it will give you um, like it will hinder your ability to use it as an operating system but what it will do is it's not a complete shutdown it's a partial you will not be able to customize it any further you see this it says windows license expired and but i can still do everything uh, everything is working if i go <coughs> open browser it works it can take me like if i click a link it's taking me to that link <coughs> all that so <coughs> security suite is working everything works except that you cannot customize it so what does that mean so for example I'm, I, I was actually uh, making another video uh, and then I noticed it and realized and then I said okay let me ch double check that and this is what happening <coughs> so I installed a brand new uh, on this computer right here so if I click rename rename this computer can I rename it Imran next oh we're gonna name it win 10 office 365 can we new do that <coughs> sorry your PC name cannot be changed right so let's just for like maybe the name is too big maybe uh, you know something like that see so you cannot customize it any further I'm gonna show you more proof let's try out over here first and see if I can change it on this one no this is the wrong settings you have to right click on it and then go system and over there you see rename this PC and let's see if I can do it uh, new win 10 can I change it will it let me like maybe this is broken but no I'll change to new window 10 right it's it's done there uh, what's happening there why is it restarting anyways so if I restart it the name will take place I'm gonna restart it later cause I want to do one more thing uh, that poor thing I don't know why Let's start the other thing that we want to do is if we can um, system and so system info click on that and then we want to change the it's a work group we don't want to change it to um, a jo uh, we want to join the domain see this is the one that we want to member of oh it's pending restart let's restart it first while this is starting we can work on the other one <coughs> so it's keep going back to like admin account I don't know why that one is back as well so I'm logged in as a local admin account on this new computer you have to be logged in as an admin to make the changes that we are doing like renaming the PC or making it a domain join if you're managing your own network it helps to keep the same username and password for the domain local domain account on all of the machines or if you are like very smart and you can you have a good memory you can like uh, to use different password uh, with a hint of what it will be based on that machine but more normally it's just one so while that is loading let's quickly go to system and for here see if we can change it to work group looks like 
we can now domain so we have two domains in our if you if you remember we change it to ihamid.org let's see if we can try that ihamid.org so this will be the first computer that we would be able to nope so if it's not that is it this nope so ah i know what it is so even if i try the imran.local it should not be able to give me credentials right the reason is the server is not running it cannot find it so let's fire up server <coughs> and now while the server is being loaded up or starting let's go back here system i should not have done system but let's see if we can on uh, system info is it possible for us to unjoin domain yes i think yep we can so but what what is the customization that i was like you cannot customize it to your personalized need that is if we go to settings and if i go to accounts you need to activate windows before you can personalize your pc so this is that uh, some of the customization is not available right here you cannot sync your settings <coughs> all that option so some of the settings are hidden or managed by your organization that is okay that yeah that's a domain domain <coughs> so that's what it is uh, uh by the if the license expires you don't renew it or you don't buy the uh, full license and uh, its evaluation period ends that's what happened so you cannot personalize it you will still be able to use it um, and what I do is I just uh, discard all the virtual machines with the evaluation expired licenses and I just create a new virtual machine <coughs> I haven't discarded this one yet because I want to uh, like I have like uh, maybe three more days left on uh, office 365 license if you remember we have until uh, February 28 so I was just I'm just if I get the time I'm gonna make a quick video on office 365 like what has happened and then obviously this has this uh, virtual machine has to go all right so let's go here run the server on <coughs> while the server is loading uh, we can minimize this one move the server to here this is my system now we can try let's see if we try it it did not prompt us for the oh one more thing the other thing is that we have to change basically yeah the most important thing so the most important thing about is the we have to go and change the adopter setting uh, if it goes online looking for ihami.org you know there is nothing for the domain information so you have to go to the ethernet port and change adopter options let's open network and sharing center and from there change the ethernet and we have to go to properties IPv4 its properties and then so we have to actually get the Ethernet nope again okay, change doctor options we cannot then uh, available networks no we have to click on Ethernet network ensuring ethernet properties ipv4 and nope oh no 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 this is needs to be done the we we are not changing server properties we need to get the server ip address there are two ways the easier way is always to go one of the servers here where DHCP or DNS they all have same 147 
147 so this is the this is the one that goes in here <clears throat> so our machine needs to know where it's going to look for the uh, address first so the first one is obtain an IP address automatically or the DNS for DNS we can enter this information <clears throat> this one so for the first one we will use 192.168.1.147 and obviously it did not 2.168.1.147 and for it to be able to go online we can use google dns cause right now it will go for any email or uh, anything you type uh, any address it will go to this one our server address so if i click ok close 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 <clears throat> now I will be able to domain join it so system um, system info I wish there was a faster way of doing this now if I put my domain name it should be able to locate it and let's try ihamid.org see if it finds it or not otherwise we can always use the imran.local it cannot find it let's try nope but if I see I'm round out local uh, that it will give you quickly you see that's the domain name oh, on this server that's how we set it up but I do remember that I did change it to the domain that I bought and then I ran a script to you know but that was for in the active directory that's why maybe so still the domain is this one I don't know if we can change it uh, we might be able to do in the server or the other thing so let's just use in round out local for the time being and right away it gives you the uh, domain name or whatever <coughs> so you cannot use the let's i can actually try using one of the local account uh, like Will it join or no? Welcome. Okay. Any account can be used to domain join a computer. <coughs> it should restart now. So the machine will restart and you know it will not say work group. It will start saying uh, domain join. <coughs> now you see i have two options i can use the local account or i can use the now it's saying sign into mron so that's the what i'm gonna do is even though i joined with the bush account i'm gonna log in with another account so it's a uh, hundred percent working it took the, my username authenticated with the server and it's uh, welcoming me into the new computer The other thing that I wanted to show you like oh I think I already showed you about that that you cannot uh, personalize it yep I did show you that so will I be able to personalize it, personalize it on this machine let's find out go to settings <coughs> account I do not have that warning anymore right so I don't have that warning I can use no more add a Microsoft account so adding a Microsoft account simply means that our oh, internet is not there so to add a Microsoft account just go to network internet settings uh, connection properties adopter options it did open it this time we go to properties again IPv4 <coughs> 
so this part is basically uh, if I put 8 so this is important if you uh, want to learn this uh, when you have a server you set up DNS on it and then you don't have to do this what I'm doing here your all the queries uh, you on your client machines whether they are asking for an internal site or external site goes to your server server has the DNS on it and it redirects them accordingly if it's an internal site it gives the client computer the internal site if it's like an external site like Google Yahoo Amazon YouTube anything it sends them over but me I have to do it because it's a lab environment so what I'm doing is okay here is my first is my server address and I have not set up my DIC P and DNS on that because I haven't learned that yet but here is another DNS server so if you are going trying to access something online uh, on internet and my server cannot redirect you there it's giving you an error don't come back and tell me that the internet is not connected go back to the second one that is this DNS server so it goes connect to that one my uh, you know through the uh, um, and from here it gets the address of that website loads up on my computer if I click OK I close close this should change it should start saying internet access <clears throat> and it will go away no internet access as well maybe I have to try open a web page something to make it go over there and nope not yet can I load a page like Amazon <coughs> Amazon is loading now <coughs> it's still no internet access but Amazon loaded for me right that's because of that uh, what I did <coughs> now if I go there you see the icon changed it detected that internet is working now and it changed now let's go and try to get see in your info everything looks good email and accounts I no longer have that error message that was here add a Microsoft account no error message I can type in my uh, email and get going so this is was it I'm gonna wrap this video here if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one